Nice to meet you. Come on in. In these tough economic times, an effective job interview is more important than ever. One of the things I really want is somebody who's motivated, who's responsible, who really uh, wants to move up in their career. Cece Feinberg owns a New York City public relations firm that represents clients in the fashion industry. She's looking to hire a new assistant, an entry-level job that pays about $30,000 a year. I look for somebody who's got a lot of personality, a lot of charisma and character. She agreed to give us an inside look at the process to show you what works and what doesn't in a job interview. So tell me a little bit about yourself. I grew up outside Philadelphia. Four applicants agreed to let us videotape their interviews. We then had those interviews critiqued by a professional job counselor, Trisha Scudder of the Executive Coaching Group. Two things are happening in an interview. There's the content of what you're saying, and there's also how you're coming across to the interviewer. First up is Victoria Smith, who's just out of college Victoria and told Smith. me she was well prepared for her interview. I made sure to practice interview questions, look up possible questions that I would be asked online. Do you watch TV, read magazines? Yes, lots of magazines, lots of books. But while she dressed professionally, our job coach says Victoria's outfit may be a bit too conservative for a fashion industry job. If she had just added more flair to what she was wearing, it would have reinforced her passion for the fashion business. Next up is Malcolm Soros, who admits he doesn't know much about the fashion business. But I'm a very quick learner. Malcolm is energetic and enthusiastic in his interview, but he was asked to bring writing samples. Um, I did have, want to ask you also if you had any writing samples that you might be able to share. Um, I don't have any on me. You um, must bring your resume, your work samples, your references. Thanks for coming in. Talia McKinney has previous job experience in the fashion industry, but doesn't always make strong eye contact in her interview. Are you self-motivated? Yes, I'm very self-motivated. Um, she often looked away whenever she was given a question, and that looked like she wasn't prepared. Kate Gout projects self-confidence, and it looks like she really hits oh, it off with her prospective so employer. I'm really eager to learn. I know that everyone wants to work in fashion, but I understand that it's not just about clothes. But, but our job experience. coach wasn't completely so sold. While she was pleasant and uh, energetic, she also had a disheveled look with her hair falling in her eye repeatedly, and that could be distracting to the person interviewing her. So which of our candidates finally got the job? Kate may have the inside track, but they're Thank still so interviewing. Kate. Thank you for interviewing me. It's nice to meet you. Nice meeting you.